Imagine being able to retouch your portraits with AI by just moving sliders around. But here's the kicker to this. Now I want you to imagine that the results, they're actually fantastic. And, 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 you can batch retouch hundreds of portraits in just minutes. You don't have to imagine anymore, this is a Voto, and in this video I'm gonna show you why this piece of software is worth your time. Okay, so full disclosure, Evoto has sponsored this tutorial. And honestly, we get a lot of sponsored tutorial requests, especially when it comes to AI-based software. We pass on most of them because they're just not that good. And no company wants to sponsor me to crap on their product. But Evoto, yeah, no, this is actually really good. In fact, it's one of those few moments where I feel like we kind of lucked out because I got sponsored to create a tutorial for a piece of software that I actually have been needing and something that we're now using in our studio. So I wanna talk about why. Yes, you can use Avoto to process raw files, you have basic controls and the ability to apply filters or presets, but that's not why I'm here, not why we're here. I wanna get straight to the good stuff. Let me show you why this program is so powerful. So this is my workflow. My typical workflow begins in Lightroom Classic where I have all my access to my presets and I apply a quick basic color grade. From there, I'm going right into Avoto. So load up any portrait of your own if you guys would like to follow along. But from Evoto, this is where we're gonna go right to the portrait retouching section. And here, I want you to first kind of think of everything we're doing here as basically a preset. And here's what I mean. Once you're here, yes, you can individually adjust sliders on each photograph, or you can dial in specific retouching adjustments that you want to make, save it out as a preset, and then apply it to every single image in a batch. Now, within that preset, you can also specify which settings you want to apply to each subject in a photo, meaning you can have specific settings for male subjects, female subjects, children, elderly. You can have different retouching settings for each of these people. Now let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm just gonna start by showing you kind of some of the magic. So we'll keep this one simple. We're just gonna keep it on female and right now I'm gonna adjust sliders. They're all pretty self-explanatory. I just want you to see the transitions from before to after. Check this out. You want to remove freckles and acne, easy. I'm gonna fix body blemishes as well. I'm gonna lighten up the eye bags while also preserving the agio cell. I don't even know if I said that right, but that's the little lines under the eye where if we remove them, our subjects tend to look like aliens. Now I'm gonna bounce into skin retouching for a little bit of dodge and burn on the face, and I'm gonna adjust skin texture to satin for just a little bit more highlight and pop. Oh, and why not unify the face and body complexion as well? Now you can play to your heart's content with each of these settings, but I'm gonna do two last things. First, I'm gonna make the eyes pop a bit more, which by the way, here you have sliders for both the left and the right eyes because there's always a little bit of a difference in brightness, right? Jumping into makeup, I'm gonna enhance the contouring and highlights just a bit. You can even change makeup styles entirely, which is kind of wild, but be careful with this. If you're shooting for a client, I'd only make these changes if they request them. And same thing for stuff like body reshaping, which this can do as well. Last, I'm gonna reduce the flyaways just a bit. Okay, let's call this good for right now, but look at the before versus the after. This is insane, right? I've kept everything on the more subtle side, by the way, because that's kind of where I like it. But I want you to remember this. Everything that I just did right now can be saved to a preset. And now your same settings can be used to batch retouch a whole sequence of images. So here's how batch retouch works. Let's save what we just did to a preset. And remember, I can specify unique settings for males, females, children, elderly, all people in my photographs, right? Go ahead and from here, once you have your settings dialed in, click save preset. Give your preset a name. I'll drop it into my SR Lounge tutorial group and I'm gonna select the portrait retouching settings because that's all I want included in this one. From there, you press save. Now, under my presets, there it is. Basic female retouch. Move to a new photo, click the preset, and boom, you're done. But you can also apply the same preset over an entire batch of photos as well. Now, because I primarily do wedding work, within my presets, I kind of designate settings for both my male and female subjects. That way I can apply these presets across an entire batch of images like you see here with this engagement portrait session. And just a little pro tip here, test your presets to make sure that they're subtle enough to work on various images without taking anything kind of too far or going over the top. Truthfully, if this were everything that Evoto did, it would still be a valuable tool in my workflow, but we're kind of just scratching the surface. So watch this, some additional features. We can replace backgrounds on any of your studio portraits, like so. Let's say you've got a boudoir image where you need full skin retouch, you need color unification, maybe even body reshaping, which again, we're only gonna do at a client's request. Well, that's no problem. 
Now let's say you're shooting on a sight wall or backdrop that has marks on the floor like this one, Evoto can easily clean that up as well. If you've got a boring sky, replace it with something better. You also have complete control over face and body reshaping. But again, this is an area, for the third time that I'm repeating, that I like to keep things natural unless a client makes a specific request. On top of this, Evoto quickly and beautifully knocks out stray hair and flyaways. It can even remove glare from eyeglasses. And yes, of course you also have all of your basic color and raw adjustment settings as well, but this is a powerful piece of AI-driven software, and more important than anything is the fact that it actually works. Evoto helps photographers to kind of end the grind of retouching tasks, and instead, you can focus on what matters most. And for you that might be shooting more, for me, it's spending more time with my family, doing things that I enjoy, things like jujitsu. But anyway, with all that said, I want to discuss pricing, because I think perhaps the, the only thing that might be a hang-up for some of you is going to be pricing. Evoto is free to download and try, and when you're ready, you actually use it by purchasing credits for each image that you want to export. Credits currently range from 4.6 cents per image to 6.9 cents per image, depending of course on the package that you choose. So you buy more credits, you get a better rate. Now I would of course check their website just for updated pricing and whatnot, but I want you to know that the only time your credits are actually used is when you export a photo. So at the time of export, one credit is one exported photo. And this means that you can edit an image as many times as you'd like. You can make it as many adjustments as you want. And only when you're finished, only when you export, does it actually use your credit. Now, for those of you that want to outright own your software or maybe be able to have unlimited editing access, this might be a deal breaker. But if you're a professional photographer like me, you're used to spending a good amount of money for image retouching. I mean, whether it's done in-house or whether we outsource, we generally spend around five to 10 bucks per retouched image. And I'm, I'm not talking about like high-end fashion retouching. I'm talking about like basic, decent retouching. Voto gives me a professional tool. I honestly feel like I should scratch that. It feels like more than that. This is This is like an efficient editing assistant that gives me complete control over my retouch. I can apply it to one photo or every photo that I want retouched. And let's say that I'm doing, say, 100 images. I'm retouching 100 images for a client's album. That in the past would have cost me 500 bucks to 1,000 bucks, plus I gotta find the right retoucher. Now, with this software, it does an incredible job and it costs me seven bucks. That's kind of an insane thought, isn't it? And from that lens, this makes complete sense from a pricing and cost perspective. Okay, so what do I wanna see in the software? Truthfully, I love the software, but what I desperately would like to see is the ability to actually open and edit images directly from Lightroom Classic. I don't mean via like a, a plugin inside of Lightroom Classic. I mean just being able to basically take it from Lightroom Classic right over to the Avoto app and then to bring it back without having to do that process manually. Is this a deal breaker? No, but it would definitely be an awesome workflow feature. Okay, so in conclusion, Yes, I was paid to create this tutorial, and also, yes, in the process of doing that, I became a user. This is something that rarely ever happens, so I just want to say, I know I got lucky and I hit the jackpot with this one, but look, I get it, I'm on YouTube, I'm giving you my thoughts, maybe you don't trust me, so you don't have to take my word for it. They actually let you give it a shot. Like I said earlier, you can download the software and use it for free. You can play to your heart's content. Only when you export an image does it actually use a credit. Plus, if you click the link in the description, you'll get 30 free credits to play with and to use. This will allow you to finish out 30 images at no charge, and from there, you can grab whatever credit package works for you and start rocking it. That's it for me. We'll have all the links in the description. Peace.